वेलकम व्यूअर्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टू मोस्ट कॉमन टाइप्स ऑफ लिवर कैंसर्स एंड हाउ दे डिफर फ्रॉम ईच अदर विद द हेल्प ऑफ दीज थ्री डी मॉडल्स द लीवर एस सम ऑफ यू मे ऑलरेडी नो इज ए फुटबॉल साइज ऑर्गन इन एन एडल्ट दैट सिट्स इन द अपर राइट पोर्शन ऑफ द एबडोम बिनीथ द डायफ्राम एंड अब द स्टोमक Several types of cancers can form in the liver. Cancer that spreads to the liver, that is metastasis to liver, is more common than cancer that begins in the liver cells, that is hepatocellular carcinoma, or in short called HCC. The most common type of cancer that begins in the liver cells is primary hepatocellular carcinoma. otherwise also called hcc it begins in the main type of liver cell called the hepatocyte in this view the left model is of primary hepatocellular carcinoma and the right model is of metastasis to liver or secondary to liver let me first talk about hepatocellular carcinoma the most important causes of hepatocellular carcinoma is hepatitis b virus and hepatitis c virus infection and cirrhosis over 80% of patients who develop hepatocellular carcinoma have cirrhosis of the liver the term cirrhosis means massive fibrosis of liver cirrhosis of liver can occur due to widespread etiologies Hepatocellular carcinoma has most frequent association with macronodular postnecrotic cirrhosis commonly seen in alcoholic cirrhosis Hepatocellular carcinoma tends to metastasize early via lymphatics to regional lymph nodes and via blood stream to produce lung metastasis Hepatocellular carcinoma usually presents as a large solitary mass as is shown here in this model besides that hepatocellular carcinoma may also uncommonly present as multiple nodules or as a diffuse infiltrative lesion the rest of the liver surface and in cross section shows many nodules of variable sizes owing to coexistent macronodular cirrhosis Hepatocellular carcinoma is seen here as a large solitary nodule with irregular borders and having central area of redness. This central red area is area of hemorrhage and necrosis. Hepatocellular carcinoma should be suspected when a patient with known cirrhosis presents with any new symptom such as pain, loss of weight, fever, increasing liver size or increasing ascites hepatocellular carcinoma often produces alpha fetoprotein in short called afp afp is secreted by the tumor cells into the patient's blood where it is a useful diagnostic marker for hepatocellular carcinoma coming to the most common type of liver cancer the metastatic cancers that is cancers that have spread to liver from other body sites also called secondary to liver now i will discuss about the metastatic cancers of liver as is shown in this second model the metastatic cancer to the liver is the most common type of liver cancer Metastatic liver cancer means cancers that have spread to liver from other body sites. These are also called secondary to liver. 
metastatic tumors in the liver are more common than primary hepatic tumors virtually any malignant neoplasm in the body can metastasize to the liver but practically the most common are those from gastrointestinal tract breast lung and malignant melanoma metastatic carcinoma characteristically produces massive liver enlargement with multiple nodules in this model of liver you can appreciate multiple spherical nodular masses of variable size scattered throughout the liver the tumor nodules here appear to be comparatively well demarcated as compared to the previous model of primary hepatocellular carcinoma In this view you can see central necrosis of one of the nodular masses which causes characteristic umbilication of the liver surface the reason for this umbilication is that there is a tendency of metastatic nodules to outgrow their blood supply producing central necrosis here you can see the characteristic umbilication now let us discuss some differentiating features which can help in distinguishing a primary hepatocellular carcinoma from secondary metastasis to liver differentiation of primary hepatocellular carcinoma from metastatic carcinoma is sometimes very difficult the features which can be helpful are number 1 the nodules of metastatic carcinoma often show central necrosis and umbilication which has been shown in this model the second point is the presence of cirrhosis which favors primary hepatocellular carcinoma as was seen in the first model thirdly the demonstration of alpha fetoprotein that is afp in tumor cells or in the blood is almost diagnostic of primary hepatocellular carcinoma the last point is invasion of hepatic veins if present it favors primary hepatocellular carcinoma so viewers these were some of the important features concerning the cancer of liver whether primary or metastatic for further detailed information please refer to standard medical test books thank you